everyone, this is Always Apple FTD and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak any Checkmate compatible device running on iOS 15.0 to the latest 16.4.1. Now, if you don't know already, Checkmate compatible devices are the iPhone 5S to iPhone X. But the iPhone 5S and iPhone 6 don't support iOS 15, so this jailbreak would just be for the iPhone 6S to iPhone X. The jailbreak tool we will be using in this video is called Pale Rain. There are three main versions of Pale Rain, which are the shell version, the GUI version, and the version that's written in C. The version that's written in C was recently updated to support iOS 16.4, 16.4.1, and the betas of iOS 16.5. And that's the version that I will be demonstrating in this video. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is download the executable to your Mac. Now just to clear this up, you might notice that in the descriptions of some of my videos, the links that were used in the video are in two parts. That's because YouTube has actually gotten smarter at catching unverified channels. Now there was a point in time where YouTube had a glitch and the links under my videos were clickable, but then I guess they found out about the issue and fixed it. But when they fixed it, they added this new weird function where YouTube automatically detects if the text in the description is a link and then cuts out part of it so somebody can't copy and paste it. And this isn't just with my channel either. Other YouTubers have it as well, and it's kind of unfortunate. So that's the reason why I will do a new line in my descriptions for links. I do leave a note in the description about copying the whole line, even on the second line, but I just wanted to clear that up if you were wondering. So when you want to get the link, copy the first line and the second line as well. If for some reason you can't copy the link, you can get it from inside the video. I will say the direct URL so that you can manually type it in as well. So enough talking, let's get started. So the site that you're going to want to download Pale Rain from is called One Jailbreak. They're definitely not my sponsor, but I would recommend exploring their website because they have lots of cool articles on tweaks and jailbreak stuff. But the actual URL that you're going to want to go to to download Pale Rain is just onejailbreak.com, then a forward slash, and then blog, and then another forward slash, and then P-A-L-E, pale, and then R-A-1-N. Now this is just the way the developers of Pale Rain spell the name of the jailbreak with the one instead of the I in Rain. And now we'll just finish typing the URL. So put a dash and then put C. And remember, this is all lowercase. Then one more dash and then just the word jailbreak. Now press enter, and you can see we're on the web page. Now all we need to do to get the link is scroll down to the part where it says, if I can just ignore that, and this part where it says download Pale Rain C jailbreak. Then click on this link where it says Mac Intel Pale Rain Mac OS Universal. When you open the link, it will download the Pale Rain Mac OS Universal file to your downloads. So once that's done, you can minimize your web browser and open up a new Finder window. So once you're on your desktop, you can either click Command N on your keyboard or go to the File menu at the top here and select New Finder Window. So I'm just going to click on my downloads over here, and you can see we have this file called Pale Rain Mac OS Universal. Now you might notice if you look closer that it says Pale Rain Mac OS Universal 2 and not just Pale Rain Mac OS Universal like it said on the website. Now for you it should just say Pale Rain Mac OS Universal and not have the dash 2 because the reason it says dash 2 is because I already have a file in my downloads called Pale Rain Mac OS Universal. Now most people probably wouldn't notice this but it's actually not an executable yet. Now if I try to open it, you'll see that it will just open up and text it with all this weird code. Now it's a very easy fix with a simple terminal command. So next you're going to want to open up a new terminal window. This can easily be done by going to your launch pad, clicking on the other folder, and opening the terminal app. If the window opens up with a bunch of text, I would definitely recommend opening up a new terminal window. This can easily be done by either pressing Command N on your keyboard, or by going to the Shell menu at the top here and selecting New Window. Once you have your new window open, just type CHMOD 
then put a space. And remember, this is all lowercase, I'm just spelling it out for you since it's probably new to you. Then once you have that space in, put the plus symbol on your keyboard and then put X. The X is also lowercase. Now put one more space and then drag and drop the Pearlane Mac OS Universal file into the terminal window. Now watch the file when I click enter. So you can see here's the Pearlane Mac OS Universal. I'm actually going to change the view. There it is. And you can see that it's changed this dot icon, which is an executable. Now all we need to do is just drag and drop the file into the terminal window and press enter. All right, so now you can see that the jailbreak tool is running in terminal. Now that we tested it, you will have to close the process. Now don't press the little red close button up here. Instead, just press control C on your keyboard to properly quit the process. Now we will enter DFU mode on your device. Now the methods for entering DFU mode are different on each device. I will be showing the method that works with the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and X. The methods for the iPhone 7 and 6S are different, and if you want one of those devices, just Google how to enter DFU mode on iPhone and then your model. Now the last thing that I want to say before I demonstrate how to enter DFU mode is that it's totally, totally okay if you don't get this the first time. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised because it's pretty tricky to do. Basically, what you have to do is press the volume up button, the volume down button, and then hold the power button until the screen goes this light blue background with nothing on the screen. Then, very quickly, release the power button and then hold the power button with the volume down button and then count to five. Finally, once that's done, release the power button and keep holding the volume down button for about 10 longer seconds and make sure that the screen stays black. If you ever see the app logo during this process, then you failed. I'm going to demonstrate how and let's hope it works the first time. So press and release the volume up button, press and release the volume down button, then hold the power button. You will see the slider, that's okay, until the screen goes partially lit. I'm going to put my finger by the volume down button. And then quickly release the power button and then hold the power button and volume down button for three, four, five. That's probably good. We're going to, we failed. Okay, I'm going to show you one more time. And one thing that I want to say is that it's better to wait for the device to boot up when you're doing this process, because if you fail and you see the app logo, I would definitely recommend waiting for the device to fully boot up into normal mode before you retry it, because this just has a higher success rate. And okay, we're back in normal mode. I'm going to try again. I'm going to try to show the screen. Press and release volume up. Do the same for volume down. Hold power button. I'm going to get the slider. have my finger ready on the volume down button. There we go, release power button and then hold power and volume down. Screen went black. And then I think that's probably good. I'm going to release the power button, continue holding the volume down button, and wait a few longer seconds, like 10. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I cut out the part with me counting to 10 because I'm sure you don't want to listen to me count to 10 really long. But anyways, I'm sure we're good because we haven't seen the app logo and release the power button and we're good. So the device is in DFU mode. Work the second time, that's good. Now let's move on to the next step. Now the next thing I want to explain is kind of helpful. So you might be thinking we'll just have to drag and drop the Pearlane Mac OS Universal file right back into terminal and run it again. But there's a really helpful trick to rerun a terminal command that you've previously ran. And that's just by pressing the up arrow on your keyboard. So I'm going to show you that. So you can see I have the terminal window down here, so you can see it. And then watch, if I press the up arrow, it puts the last command that we ran. And then if I press it again, it puts the command before that. Press it over and over again. You can just press it lots of times just to show you. It just keeps going back. You can see there's the chmod command that we did earlier. And you can just keep going up into other commands from before. But we're going to run just the last one, so I'm going to go back to that and then press enter. And there we go, you can see the tool is running now. Okay, so switch my camera back to the main screen. You can see the terminal window is still open. Now, one thing that I wanna explain is that you should probably unplug your device from the computer once you enter DFU mode with the steps that I showed a minute ago. Now, normally you wouldn't want to do this, but the reason you wanna do it is because when you rerun the Pearlane Mac OS Universal executable file, 
it will boot the device right up because it's detected the device in DFU mode. So right before you rerun the jailbreak, unplug your device from the computer, basically so that you can control when you're ready. So I'll be right back once I'm in DFU mode. Okay, so I did enter DFU mode, and now for the actual jailbreak. So the tool is running, you can see it says waiting for devices. So I'm gonna plug this in and you're gonna see that it's going to detect the device. And then you might see it says device disconnected, but that's actually not an error, that's actually totally okay. It just means that the device in DFU mode will disconnect to boot up. That's basically what it's saying. You can see we have some verbose text here and the check rain logo. This is the process of jailbreaking. And we are almost done. Okay, our device is just booted up. Let's open it up and take a look. Boom, there is the pale rain loader. Perfect. Now one thing I wanna show you just for proof that I'm on iOS 16.4.1, just so you're not thinking, you know, cause that's some trick that some YouTubers do is they don't show their iOS. I'm on 16.4.1. And let's open up the pale rain loader. Here we have some cool options here. I'm gonna install Cilio or Cilio, however you say it. I'm not actually sure how you say that, but installing. And it's a set password. It may say that that's actually okay. Just enter a random password. But you wanna remember the password though, because it's gonna be the password that you use for sudo for jailbreaking. And sudo is basically a command that gets run sometimes in the process when you're using tweaks and that. So I'm just gonna set a password. You can actually make it sing easy. So you remember one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. And then one, two, three. There we go. And set. Install completed. You may close the app. Close and boom. There is Silio. Let's open it up. You can ignore notifications if it asks you that. And there we go. So here you can add a repo if you want or install some tweaks, and that's it. So I really hope this tutorial helps you out. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like, feel free to comment down below your thoughts, and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content. That's it for now, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.